it seems like every day we're faced with stressful things about horrors and suffering and death and all kinds of things. And yet at the same time, we have to learn to rest in the Lord. Uh, let's say the peace and comfort of the Lord. Because it's always there. And that's what he wants for us. But life isn't like that in this corrupt world. And every moment of every day, there's some stressful, torturous pain and suffering going on, mostly against animals. And as we're noticing today, there's all kinds of things going on because of the war in, in Ukraine. But God wants us to return to the peace that he created for us in Eden, where there was no pain or suffering or death, where animals and humans were companions of one another. That's the way the world should be today, and it's not. But when we rest in the Lord, he reminds us of what we know about Eden, and he wants to carry us forward to the way it'll be in heaven. Definitely the new heaven and new earth that he will create. Because we have to get out of all of the horrors of this realm and part of that because of the demons and all of the other things that are in the existing heaven that had fallen, there's, let's say, contamination there. So God, in all his wisdom, decided, well, we're going to have a new heaven and a new earth. And that's what we need to look forward to. Because we're all created as God's children, and we slip away. And that, I think, isn't accidental. I think that we know the difference. And, well, I, I've mentioned this before, but of all I had probably met, maybe 3,000 prisons and inmates, or, or I'm sorry, 500 prison inmates in the six years that I was doing prison ministry. And the one question I asked them was, did you hear that still small voice within you telling you not to do what you did that got you in here? And every single one of them said yes. And as I look back over my own life too, I can see times before I ever accepted the Lord where he interceded in my life and prompted me on what he wanted me to do. And I think if we're willing to listen, I think every single person in the world has heard that same small voice. That is resting in the assurance and the peace of God. And that's what we need to listen for and to hope for and to live for. Amen.